The equation for the gravitational force is one of the biggest successes in physics. It tells us how fast the moon is traveling around the Earth, shows us how to get a satellite into orbit, and helps us find dark matter and black holes. One of the best ways to study the gravitational force is using the Euler-Cromer method in a computer code. Suppose we wanted to study the orbit of a planet around a star. Programming the gravitational force between the planet and the star just requires a few mathematical steps. First, there's the negative sign out in front. This negative means that the gravitational force is always attractive. Second, there's the universal gravitation constant. This number is always the same value, no matter where you are in the universe. Next, we multiply the mass of the star times the mass of the planet. Next, we need to think about the distance between the star and the planet. We can get a distance vector that points from the star to the planet by subtracting their positions. The magnitude of this distance vector goes into the denominator of the gravitational force. Finally, we calculate a vector called r hat, which gives the direction of the gravitational force. We can calculate r hat by dividing the distance vector by its magnitude. In this code, which is available in a link in the description below, we're calculating the gravitational force using a function. Just like in mathematics, a function in Python takes inputs and produces outputs. For more information on how functions work in Python, see the video linked in the description below. In this case, our inputs are two objects in space, P1 and P2, and our output is the gravitational force exerted on P1 by P2. This function performs all the steps we just reviewed. Here, it sets a value for the universal gravitation constant. Here, it subtracts the two positions to give the distance vector. Here, it calculates the magnitude of the distance vector. Here, it calculates the direction vector r hat. Here, it calculates the magnitude of the force. And here, it combines the magnitude and direction into a vector. To use this function, we create our star and our planet, giving each of them a position, a mass, and a momentum. We create the animation using the Euler-Cromer method. First, we calculate the force on each object using our function. Then we update their momenta, and then we update their positions. For a review of the Euler-Cromer method, see the series linked in the description below. The resulting animation shows the planet orbiting around the star. There is a lot that you can play around with in this code, but let's take a look at simply changing the star's mass. Suppose we decrease the star's mass by half. The planet takes a very different trajectory and is able to get farther away from the star before turning back. Why is this? Because with less mass in the star, there's less force between the two objects. If that's true, then increasing the star's mass should have the opposite effect. Let's give the star twice its original mass and see what happens. Sure enough, the planet's orbit shrinks, bringing it much closer to the star. There are other properties you can change to explore how orbits behave. The position of the planet, the momentum of the planet, and the momentum of the sun. Copy this code from the link in the description below and modify these properties to see if you can achieve the following results.